I can do it from this side. Okay, we are um, Parakhov, Anachachayim, which we began, but I'd like to um, I'd like to begin it again with a, a new Albert that we need to have in order to understand this. So let's just read the words again. The first paragraph of Parakhov, a beer protes. Seder Tikunim, Tikunam Vis Kashusam Aidei Hatshuva. Let's understand or observe or explain the details of the Tikun and the Hiskashrus which comes through Shuva. And this, by the way, this parak is the parak where the Nathanaim explains Shuva finally. And it works as follows Shikashir Pogam Ha'odam Bachinas Nafshek. When a person Let's, now that we know these words and we're sophisticated, let's understand that on a sophisticated level. A person is pogang a blemish, the nefesh. Now remember the, the words, because we have three parts that we're discussing here. There are many, many parts, but there's three parts that we're discussing here. There's the nefesh, ruach, and nesham. So the nefesh... The nefesh is, is the... Is our bodies, right? Including our minds and our psychology and um, our personalities and all that Gashmi stuff um, goes into the world of Nefesh. Um, if a person is poking in the Nefesh, means a person does a chet, so what happens is there's a, you've created a disconnect in the entire alignment of nefesh, ruach, and nesham. It, it's, it's important to go over this many, many times to understand what's going on. Um, it's, it's an existential point. Like, how do we live? What does it mean that we're living? What does it mean that we'll get when we die? Um, and the, the way it works, what differentiates us from rabbits is that um, they have a nefesh, we have a nefesh, but the child is our nefesh was created through the vayipach ba'ap of nishmas chaim. Our nefesh was created to, to be connected, sort of at the bottom, if you want to understand it, of the of a ruach, and the ruach is connected to neshama, neshama to the world of atzilus to hakadosh baruch Hu. So the whole thing is um, it's hard to visualize this, it's hard to even understand what it means. But I'm going to try to uh, bring it down to earth. Um, the the whole point is that. You can be a nefesh walking around, but you're really like from the walking dead. Because <laughs> you know, you're not hooked up. It's a zombie-like type of thing. Like You're not really hooked up to the ruach. You can live. And we explain how you can live, just like animals live. You can live. Not Shabahamas, you can live. You can be alive. You can live to 180, maybe. But you can't, but you're not, the point is that you're not, we're not fulfilling what we were created for. Because the whole idea is that this nefesh is a keli which gets filled by the ruach and the ruach gets its energy from the neshama so our neshama if we want to understand it as a, a is is there a lakai neshama shinasato be this neshama is flowing through the tube in tas and it starts off to hurihi ato barasa lashana bria ato yitzir piyatsarta lashana vitsira ato nefach to be and then finally gets into the b into the nefesh, to nefach to be. So what's important to understand is what we're dealing with all the time is nefesh. Is a person, um, you know, goes through, and this is so important in, in the sheet of the nefesh HaChaim here, a person goes through a whole um, derech of self-improvement, let's say. Whatever derech you want to take, you want to go into um, a 12-step program, you want to join S, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. <laughs> to become self-improvement. Learn Musser, also good. Um, so you're, you're dealing with Tarz HaNefesh. But there's a different thing here besides for all that, and that's all very important, self-improvement and, and self-help. There's another, there's another point here where that Nefesh hooks up to the Ruach. Every time I do a Chet, I've, I've moved the Nefesh away from the Ruach that much, and I'm getting that much less of the Vayipach Ba'ap of Nishmas Chaim. I don't know, it's hard for us, you know, simple people to, to look at a person and say, 
Are you being energized by your neshama and by your ruach? Or are you being energized by some kind of klipoy satsmeyas by the nefesh abahama? So it's very difficult to, to see. But you can, you can see it if you study it. You can see sometimes people just make, they're so off, you know. Um, decisions are so bad, you know, sometimes it's better just ask somebody else because somebody else who sees something, sees a whole big picture. But, you know, is it, is it hooked up to the Ruach and to the Nisham? So he says as follows. Avim garam chas v'shalom, even if you've done such terrible things, that you cause shenifsiku v'nichrasu kol hatesha sviraisel. There are ten connectors which connect the nefesh to the ruach. Let's say you've knocked out nine. They're really like bad. Mechachma <coughs> ulamata, And it's not you're not connected. You're slightly connected. You're hardly getting any reception at all. One dot. But teret ployim leimke mitzulais haklipais chasushal. And every time one disconnects themselves from the from this from this process of the neshama ruach nefesh. So what comes in nature, nature literally abhors a vacuum. So what comes to take its place to give you the life is koach Az al yidei vidui dvarim. So now by saying vidui, we explained this at length last time. The dafka through vidui because vidui is dibur and vidui is the connective connecting place between the nefesh and the ruach. The, the, the vidui dibur is the highest part. Of the nefesh, we are the most intelligent of of, uh, of of created species. We could talk. It's indicated by the fact that we could talk. Talking intelligently is another thing, but we're an intelligent species that we can talk. So we're up on the top of nefesh right there, and connecting to ruach, the connecting place, the valve, is dibur. So therefore, if I'm masaki my dibur, I yidei vidui dvarim be'emes miumka deliba. Coming from Omek Halev, Bakima Svasavim, I'm actually articulating that to a lower world of Akima Svasavim, Bakinas Nefesh de Ruach, Ma'ayr Bakold Varm Shalai, now watch this, Ma'ayr Bakold Varm Shalai ad la'ela u la'ela. The Vidui goes up and up. Now, why is it going up and up? It should be coming down and down. Are you with me on this? The idea is, here's the nefesh. The bulb is not screwed into the socket. So you screw it back into the socket. The idea here is not anything is going up. The idea is that the electricity now is able to come into this light bulb, and there's a resistance which causes light. So you screw in the bulb tighter, it's coming down. But here he's telling us something else. When a person says, Goes up and up. We go around, and what happens when you do tshuva? She is atzal to sefes kedusha mimanu yis barak shmai. Now you have a whole new line of energy coming through. At sherish hanishama tchila, it goes all the way up to the sherish hanishama. Umisham lenishmasai. Now again, let's explain the terms. Sherish uh, hanishama. Um, look, it's it's difficult to know what these things mean, but it's intri- it's easy enough to understand the language. That um, in Shamayim, if we want to understand that there's the Neshama HaKloli. <coughs> in the world of Bria, there's the Neshama HaKloli. And the Neshama HaKloli is everybody's Neshama together, Kla Yisrael's Neshama together. And then it breaks up into different Neshamas. And breaks up into different Neshamas, so we have our personal Neshama. According to the Kabbalah, it, only, it breaks up into halves. You know, and only half Neshamas come, and it's only when you find your zivug that that half and that half become one, one, one neshama. But you start off with a neshama kloli, and then gets broken up into all these places. So now when I'm doing tshuva, what's happening is, it's going le'ela u le'ela ad his lashon. Le'ela le'ela u shisatsa le'esef es kudushim anu yisparash ma'ad shayresh ha neshama tchila. To the beginning shayresh ha neshama. Where did we all come from? From then, the Ruach gets personalized to my personal Neshama and my personal Ruach, so it starts going down a private pipe. And the Ruach sends this tremendous illuminating light, which comes back into my Nefesh. Because it's all connected. 
realignment. So this is a, a, um, a chiropractic adjustment of the soul. We're back aligned to where the way the way life is supposed to be. And what happens then? Lachalois, ulahasem, hakoyches hara. The kedusha pushes away the kochos hara which I'm existing on. Junk food, right? Like it's it's just I'm living I'm living like a parasite. I'm living off junk food. Umadregos hatuma, getting rid of all the tuma. Lohetsi mi masker asir kol b'chinaisa, and releases me from their hold. Lachser lekashen ku rishayna b'chinas aruch and I'm back connected to the rock. Let me let me. Um, this, is, this is a fantastic paragraph. It should almost be um, printed out and framed. <laughs> it's like it's it's a fantastic paragraph. But let me, let me let me just contrast it. There are those that say, that's, it might be true, it might not be true, I not what to say, that the Nefesh Chaim here is arguing with the Rabbeinu Yoyna in, in Shari Tshuva. <coughs> I'm not sure that it's about Chalikas, but let's understand what, what they're saying. It's, def, it's definitely something different. When, when, if you open up the Shari Tshuva, Rabbeinu Yoyna, it's a Minag Yisrael to do so, in Chodesh Avul. So, the tshuva process is about what we're doing with our nefesh. <coughs> the tshuva process is about, you talk Hosh and Har, this is how you stop talking Hosh and Har. You do Pitzel Tar, this is how you stop doing Pitzel Tar. You made a Chil Hashem, says the Shari Tshuva, so work now on making a Kiddush Hashem. It's all endless, nobody can argue with that. Those are all things in the nefesh, meaning I'm improving my nefesh. According to the Chachmei um, Kabbalah, as important as that is, that's not shuva. That's a hachana for shuva. That's not shuva. Shuva is when I take this parcel called the nefesh that I'm busy self-improving, and I hook it up to the place of ruach. Not only that, it's not just that the, that the shuva is hooking up instead of improving this. Not only that. Shuva goes up, <coughs> and it comes down. Meaning that it starts with Vidui, look at the circuit. It starts with Vidui, it goes all the way up, Laila, Laila, up to the world of Bria. What does the Gemara say? Yuma, Yama, Daf, Pehav, Amen, Aleph, Gedoyla, Shuva, Shemagas, Ad, Kisei, Hakova. Lashon, the Gemara. Gedoyla, Shuva, Rameir said this. Shemagas, Ad, Kisei, Hakova. He knew. That, that the tshuva goes up to the kisei hakav. What's, what's what I need my tshuva to go to the kisei hakav? I need my tshuva to go into my hands, into my into my legs, into my heart, into my mouth. That's where I want my tshuva. We're doing the kisei hakav. What happens when I do tshuva according to to Rameir, and according to the way the Mekubalim understood it, is that when I do tshuva, I have changed the whole energy source, all the way up in the world of bria, and now, and this can happen instantaneously. Now, that new energy source is again the neshama coming through the ruach, and I'm brand new. So it's not so much about fixing this, as Rabbi Yonah says, how do I fix this? How do I, how do I put a patch on my tire? It's a whole different, it's a whole, I'm a whole different person. Lev tohar bar broli alikim, beruach nachain chadesh bekirbi. A whole new, a whole new system. I'm a whole new person. Uh, what's lesson in the Rambam? Bal Tshuva Oimer, Ani Ish Acher Ve'eni Oisoyo Ish Shechato. I can become a completely different person. So um, it's 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 completely either either it's a machlokes, or they're addressing two parts of Tshuva. Mm -hmm. Clearly, what's the point in getting a whole new roof if it's just gonna you know you're putting all new air into the balloon and the balloon has a hole in it? Obviously, there's no point in that. But 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 the the nakuda is the tshuva the nakuda of tshuva is says the nefesh that I'm I'm working I'm working like this I'm going up and and he, he says over and over again that if you want to be masaking anything he says throughout the sefer if you ever want to be masaking anything nefesh ruach and shama you always have to do the work on the on the part that's on top of it so our derech of being masaking the nefesh is by being masaking the ruach that's why I say vitu. It's all it's all about going to the to Madrega up higher and being Masaki in that. But Nachamer, 
that it goes up and up and up, and then I come down. Ruach Nachain Chadesh Bikirbi. We have to know what this looks. We have to know what the what the ramifications are. What does it look like? It's hard to know what it looks like. But you know, you always wonder like this. Okay, I'll give you just a very practical uh, part of this. Let's say you want to um, bring somebody to do tshuva. So you want to be makar. You want to do kiru, right? You want to bring somebody to do tshuva. I worked in this area for a, a good part of my life and was even successful, but I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> because um, what, what are you doing? You, like, you're saying to people, look, keep Shabbos. This is the importance of keeping Shabbos. Shabbos is a day where you get together with your family. <coughs> Shabbos is a day where you'll restore your neshama. Shabbos is a day, of, you know, out and out about Shabbos. Intellectually. Shabbos is a day where you're commemorating the Bria Soil of Hashem made the, made the world. Uh, and I'll prove it to you. <laughs> I'll show you codes. I'll show you Ripsadi Goyen's arguments. I'll, I'll show you that, 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 that God created the world. There, there's a different mahalach here. Um, I'm not sure I know how to do it. But maybe, maybe it's like more a Hasidish mahalach you find here in the Misnagid of all generations. <laughs> and that is that, no. Um, that's not going to work. What's going to work is to access a person's ruach and try to get a person through his decision to re-access their neshama and to get a whole new ruach chadash, ruach nocha and chadash what, what, what is the job altogether? And, and you know, you see, you see a, a number of things that are so clear. Number one, like. I mean, the, the most famous Gemara about Shuba, there's a few famous things that everybody knows about Shuba, but one of the most famous things that everyone knows about Shuba is, everyone knows this is Sugya, is Vabakim Shemali, Shuba Aimdim, Tzadikim Gemurim, Einam Yisraelim Lamech. Why? Why? It's, it's not Higyoni. If it didn't have air, like I should be a lower Madrega. Oimdim. I'm Oimdim in a lower Madrega that the sky is Bukhal Shabbos, and the Oimdim of Hazar. How could it be? So the answer is, of course, it's not. Uh, on, on some level, you know, some level it's not because it's not. But, but uh, on another level, understand that 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 the spell shuva, if he does it right, has a whole new energy. That the tzaddik is still working on the old energy because he never he never was pogim in it. The spell shuva is getting a whole new piece, a whole new ruach. Ruach nachay, chadesh b'kir. What's the what's the reference to the muck? Let's try to explain. You, 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 we see. Um, let's get to the muck in a few minutes. But you, you see this lemaisa. You, you see that that um, balchuba. I'm not talking about necessarily like you know, the balchuba. The person is a balchuba. You can be from it, be a Balchuva. It's harder, but you can do it. The person of Balchuva has kochas that a tzaddik doesn't have. I see Balchuva, you know, uh, say, I'm going to stand all Yom Kippur. You know, I, don't know. I don't have the kochas to stand all Yom Kippur. But there's, there's something new. There's something. There's there's a certain kiddush. It's almost like um, the energy of a child. You know, um, I'm older than most of the people in the room here. But uh, you know, when you, when you watch a child running around, never getting tired, <laughs> and, 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 and doing this and doing that, jumping, play, it's, it's like I don't have that kind of energy. There's a child. There's a child's energy. Like the body is new and it's <laughs> it's fresh and it's like it's. It's like a new thing, you know. They have a lot of koach. You know, it's a new thing, like a, you know, like an old car, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it, it, it's, there's something new, and, and you, 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 when you, when you, you start to see the contrast. What's going on with the new? It's, it's new. It's fresh. It's, uh, person comes to something which is fresh. You have a whole different kind of about shuva. I, I, I think I, I must have told the story worth telling again. But I remember years ago when I was in Kolo, so so I, uh, I lived in, in uh, Robeba from people in Romania at that time. Uh, now it's completely from, thanks to me. But at that, at that time, nobody was from, nobody, I mean, hardly one or two older than me and they're all the Sephardi people. But uh, there was no young people that were, were, were from. <coughs> Romania was, was a, um, like, projects, you know, of 
for Moroccan jewelry that came and they gave them cheap housing in Romaima and I happened to be right next door to Luz Montezor. I couldn't afford Luz Montezor, I lived in Romaima. Romaima. I was the only one that crossed the, the line at that time. But anyways, I, I, I was able to uh, bring closer to Yiddish right, through learning and smiling. I was able to bring two, two of my neighbors. One was an electrician, one was a policeman, uh, Balash. You know, um, two, two young guys. Um, my age, 22, 23, 24, like that, you know, just finished the Sava. I started to learn with them. That, so so um, one of them came points, he, he wanted to buy Tzvillin. Can I tell you a story? He wanted to buy Tzvillin. Not film. So I said, okay. So he, I said, what, you know, how much you want to spend on the Tzvillin? So uh, he said, as much as possible. <laughs> like, just buy me the best Tzvillin that there are in the world, and I'll, I'll buy them. So I said, well, you have a lot of money. So he said, I'll sell my car. You know what it was for an Israeli to... <laughs> At that time, we're talking about you know, forty years ago to sell his car, like you know, it was a, you know, it was like a big deal. You know, they spent all Saturday washing the car. You know, to sell that car. You know, to sell his car. So I said to him, listen, you know, everybody knows that if you want to be a Kabbalah al Torah, you have to do it step by step. Don't miss rungs on the ladder, and if you go too fast, you're going to fall. And that speech, which I had heard so many times, and I told this person, like, just buy a pair of them that are kosher, like you know. You no, I want to buy the best fill in out there. Tell me who's the best one. What do they call it? So, um, so anyways, we're arguing about this. So he said to me, let's go to your Rob, or Shiner, who's down the street. And mother's let's go ask him what kind of fill I should make. Yeah, where we, walk, we walked into him. It's where it's filling <laughs> all day. And not one talus, but many talus. And, uh, and I, we, I, I explained the, uh, the machoikas, what to do. Shiva said, when I die, you should sell your car and spend as much money as you can on Tefillin. When I die, he completely took his side, not my side. When I die, let's go to Shiloh. So maybe you should even borrow <laughs> money. How much is your car worth already? You know, like, and that's how the conversation went. And I said to him, you know, thinking, you know, I, you know like I always, you know, maybe he doesn't understand like Bali Shuba, you know. <laughs> I said, maybe this is not smart, you know, maybe this is not the right derech. And he said to me right in front of him, he said, person who's chayzer b'tshuva, has your hurei tshuva, has capabilities that you know nothing about. The shemayim is open to be able to do things which you have no ability to do, you have no understanding of. And you have to chop those moments of yisarusa de la'ela, and you have to let the person do as much as they can because this is a new ruach which is coming through, which you don't understand. You're working with your ruach, you're not working with his ruach. So he told me, Mamish, Dvaram kicks out. This is like the, like the Nakuda of Nakuda, the Yisai that stood with me forever. That, uh, this is not a Yitzhahar, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. A ruach, new, a new ruach. Ruach, no, thank Chadesh, Bekirbi. We're watching it with our own eyes. So this is the Pshat, this is the real Pshat. That, that you're standing in a mako, which is all the way up by Ruach, not all the way in the bottom of Nefesh. You're not working with the goof, like a tzaddik is working, trying to do this and trying to do that. That's, that's wonderful. That's where, that's where this guy's going to end up to. But right now, there's a, there's a chidush. And the chidush of Ruach, where he's standing right now, the mako. You see the mako? The makom that he's standing, nobody's nobody's able to stand there. It's a whole different, it's a whole different um, havaya. It's a whole different kavod. Yes. Hmm? Liad kisiyakavod. Kisiyakavod. This is coming direct from the kisiyakavod. It's it's um it's new. It's a new bloodstream. But but vidui didn't take him there. Vidui is the beginning. He did vidui. Yeah. Yeah. I want to change. I've been doing wrong. So but here's here's the truth though. Here's the bach, the bachlikus, if you will, Rabbi Yoda and the Vishnai. Truth going this way, or truth going that way. Emes Emes Gerat, there's two sukkim. The pasuk of Vahashivaisa Olavavacha. It's going this way. The next pasuk of the Torah is Vishavta Ad Hashem Olikach. So Vishavta Ad Hashem Olikach of Hashivaisa needs some self improvement. There needs to be a kli which can be bekafal. And that which is a kli, what we are, our lives. It's a keli. It's a keli to be hooked up 
to this to this barachet of Ruach and Neshama. It, it's so. Um, I mean, uh, what could be more important? It's, uh, it's life itself. It's not like the Barachai of Karis or Barachai of Karis. It's, it's, I might have a Kaili that was created to have the schus to be hooked up to a Ruach, to be the schus to be hooked up to the Shabbat. Even non Jews don't have this. It's strictly a, a, a Jewish thing, apparently, because I know that the Neshama Kali is Neshamas that Kate were moiled by Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. You're at. That's why the, you know the, the, it's mashma from Chazal. <laughs> so I, I came across this other story. I, I'm not necessarily but they're important. You said just uh, the, the, years ago. I wrote a sefer on, on Rabbi Yosef Engel. I don't know if anybody saw it. But, um, you have it. It's in the back. Huh? It's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's most of my books. <laughs> I was learning through uh, Minhag to um, Minhag instead of learning this and learning that. So I would take a machaber, an author, and just learn through everything that they said. Try to get a understand the shita. Uh, like over the years, went through all of the tzaddik to savior. So at that time, I was learning through all of Rebbe's of Engel to savior. Rebbe's Engel is a guy in Hadar, um, but it was it's like all over the place. There's no savior. It's not on any. It's not on Chumash. It's not on Shulchan Aruch. It's not on Shas. It's just like whatever he wants to talk about. Um, that's what it's about. Main part of it is in Seder Alphabets, like an encyclopedia. But um, it's, you know, you see things that are so fantastic, there's no way to. So I, I, I wrote a Sefer where I took everything of Rebbe's of Engel, and I was a according to the Parshius. I really wrote it for myself. And, and uh, Scheinberg told me to publish it, it was good. And I put explaining footnotes on the bottom. So uh, what's the name of the Sefer? Rebbe Yosef Engel Alphabets. Um, it's all up. <laughs> nice little little book. Probably has in it about uh, 600 things from a race of angle. I remember when I printed it, I gave a copy to a personal chef to Shiva Wayu. And uh, I think he likes some race of angle. So I thought he would enjoy it. So he looked and said, he came back to me an hour later. He says, you, you missed out three pieces. <laughs> <laughs> So here you go. Here I, 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 I pew. <laughs> you know, here I thought I knew Rabbi Yosef Engel. Like but uh, anyway, so uh, Rabbi Yosef Engel says, um, starts off one of the pieces in the base of so by saying, um, Ain't under Aleph, Ain't Shuva Ba'aku. It's impossible to do for going to do Shuva. Kinoida, as is well known. Okay, it's well known to who? I, I, uh, Ramam doesn't say it. Doesn't say so in Shas, as far as I knew. Um, and my job was to find a makar for everything. Ain't shuba ba'akum. And then I thought to myself, how could it be? The whole story of Ninveh that we read on Yom Kippur is a story of going to shuba. What's the shot? Ain't shuba ba'akum. So um, I asked a bunch of people. Do you know people that are know a lot of things? Never heard. Never knew. I wrote at that time, still wrote letters, wrote letters to different Gedolim, asking him, you, like, uh, quoting this, do you know where, where the Makar for this is? So, um, no, I never heard. I went to Scheinberg, I said, he's a Bucky of Volatari Kulo, where does it say, ain't you of He says, it can't be such a thing, the whole story of Ninveh. That's what he told me. Okay, he says, ain't you of Akum. So, um, I was, it's Hanukkah. 40, 40 some years ago, and, and I was at the Kaisal, and Rabbi Vadi Yosef was the um, chief rabbi of Israel, and he came to light Hanukkah candles at the Kosel, and I saw, and as he's coming, Rishon Lezion, so um, he's, everybody's, he was with sunglasses, even though it was nighttime, and everybody's standing in line, and greeting him, and kissing his hand, and Shalom Aleichem, and his part. So he said, okay, I'll also stand in line. So I, I stood in line by the Kaisel, um, and he was walking towards the Kaisel, and I shook his hand, and I said, Efo Katuv, Ein Shuva Ba'akum. And he told me, Rabbi Yosef Engel, Beit Ha'otzer, quoted me exactly what page it was that I was working on. So I decided, Eid Makar. 
well, they're going to start. At the end, um, uh, after a lot of uh, research, um, Rup Sadek has a whole, and I got to Rup Sadek, Rup Sadek has a whole kuntras on it, and, uh, which was apparently not known, um, and Takonis Hashavin, and in Shuvah Ba'akum, and it's Al Kiyazoya and at the end, um, what it means, the, the, the Beis HaLakim La'amavit explains that what it means, not that a guy can't do tshuva, of course, of course a guy can do tshuva, but the idea of zdainois nasek is chuyois, that doesn't apply to a guy. What's the, the, the pshat in zdainois nasek is chuyois? You do something for mezid, it becomes a mitzvah, a hechetes. Comes a mitzvah, not disappears. It becomes a mitzvah. How do, what, if a why, 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 why should this be? And the answer is that when a person is doing tshuva, a Jew is doing tshuva, and you're reconnecting to the neshama hakloli. And what's allowing me to do this tshuva to reconnect the avera? Ironically, the ironic that if, if you don't do averas, you can't do tshuva. So it's about blah, blah, blah. But you're doing the tshuva, and that's reconnecting me to the top part, the top of this line. Now I'm getting a ruach hadasha, and everything that got me there is turning, is 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 causing a schus, is nasik is which nobody else can get. So is it a pasha that that b'malkim shibalei tshuvaimdim and sadikim gibur mechalav? What's a person can reaccess that cycle and and get this whole thing anew, the whole marechet? comes down to you, no, so our, our, our hearts are different, our brains are different, everything is different. So, so right, you with me on this? You understand this? This is, this is such an important uh, uh, side of tshuva, which is a completely different type of tshuva, a completely different definition of tshuva than the Rabbi Yonah speaks about. I don't think it's different than the Rambam. I once, you know, we could spend time on understanding the Lushan of the Rambam. I don't think it's that different than the Rambam, but I think it is different and, and interestingly, this is the Litvisha approach. It's not a Shachai. It's a, it's a, it's a Litvisha approach of the Balatanya um, in, in Igar Sachuva, which we should look at at the end of Tanya. Is Igar Sachuva takes a similar approach. So this is this, it's a similar approach. He speaks more in terms of, of uh, Elamais and Sphirais as opposed to Nefesh Ruch Neshama, but it, 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 it's all trite, but it's all the same thing. So a guy can't do that because he. You're not connecting to Neshama Kloli. How could, he, how could he do that if he's not connecting to Neshama Kloli? Of course he could achieve in terms of a pre... So a goy could become a chassid. Chassid of a A goy could become a tzaddik. But a goy can't become a balchuva. A balchuva means you're connecting to something that you were connected to, and you're reinvigorating and re-getting a whole new... It sounds like something which, which is um, like, how many times do I have to create you? Could say. But this is something that's our schus to do. So Baruch Hu and his kindness is our schus to do, that he goes back to the beginning. I, 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 was, I was just thinking probably, uh, I'm saying this as a muscle, not in any way to, um, just as a muscle, but, but I, I think one of the most Givaldic um, emails I ever got <laughs> was, um, you know, talk to a lot of couples about their issues. I'm not a therapist, I'm not, you know, but, but, but yeah, you talk, so you do or you talk, talk about the problems. She's, she's feeling like this, he's feeling that, they were like, and um, hey, we talked what we talked, and, and I have an email next, the next day from the wife. She said, um, thank you, thank you for me. In fact, that's going to like look forward this morning just to be able to make you part of it. If you'll indulge me, because I think it says, Dear Rav Haber, thank you for your time and patience in meeting us yesterday. You were the first person we thought to turn to. I have to tell you that my husband and I walked out of your office with the same serenity and clarity like the moment we stepped away from our kuppa. We felt renewed hope and comfort in the clear path set out to us for, to rehabilitate our marriage. May the goodness that will come from the session serve as a for you in this world and the next. 
which not just from all your children and from us. Uh, I'm reading to you, <laughs> reading this, like, what's, what do you think about Shalom Bayez, my Shalom Bayez, your Shalom Bayez, everybody's Shalom Bayez. But the, the concept is get back to basics, get back to the chuppah. Because under the chuppah, it was, you know, you know, you walk away from the chuppah, you could take on the whole world. It's new, it's a brand new energy. Because I said before, there's there's two half neshamas that came together under that chuppah. And when the two half neshamas come together in the chuppah, you're, you're, you're kids. You're, you have all the energy in the world to do everything. And then comes life. <laughs> yeah. You know, somebody back in Buffalo said to me, it's like, you know, I don't know she's she said to me, I don't understand. Like, I, I lived with this guy together um, for four years. We got along brilliantly. Then we got married, and now we can't get along. Like, how could this be? So I said, it's easy. Now you're married. <laughs> she does. Like, like, what's a, like obviously, like, that's the that's the knight here. You know, like, you, you got married. What, 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 you're married. Uh, that's life. Like, like that's life. So now, um, that's, you're not living in La La Land. You know, like, this, this is life. So there's responsibilities, there's, there's uh, differences, there's something um, to the sort of life. That the chaf is to get back to that original neshama and to work our way down from there. The chaf is not to go down and say, I don't like the fact that she never puts the milk in the refrigerator. I don't like the fact that he walks into the house with her, with these kind of shoes. I can't stand the way she talks on the phone and never says goodbye. I can't stand like, the stuff I hear every day. So forget about all the, all the, all the pitches because of, of of, of um, life, you know, people are people. Like you know, like, again, everybody gets on my nerves. You know, like just that. Oh, good. Yeah. The, the, the idea is like, to go back to to a place where everything was new. So, so uh, I, I was I was sharing this with um, the new Rosh Kodal of the Lakewood Kodal in, in um, this idea of, the, of in Los Angeles, um, my Fassman Jr. Fassman on the Shalom Lifter, Fassman Jr. So he said, probably, this is the chat, um, in the Pasuk, Koyam Ar Hashem Zacharti Lo Chesed Nuraich Avaz Kulo Isaich. What's the Machayim of Tshuva? He said to me, what mention of Tshuva? That was Chach Megidoyla. That the Kodesh Baruch Hu is able, even after the Egel Hazah, he's able to remember how we were when we first started out. That's how he's able to remember that moment. And the moment is a moment to be cherished because that moment is a moment that we can always get back to and then start fresh. That's the Chiddush of Shuva. So you can fix over here, Rabbi Yoyna, it's all good. You gotta fix those things anyway. You can fix all over here, or you can tush Shuva. Desire says, tush tushu hey. Put the hay back to the tushu. Like, realign. Let's get, get back right back on, on track here. And when you're on track, you have a Ruach Kadosh, and that Ruach Kadosh changes. Us, and we look different, and we think different, and we feel different, and we daven different, and we act different, and we're walking away with that with that koach. Because the same way, you know, after a chasana, first year, you don't have to wear a kittel on Yom Kippur. You're not allowed to wear a kittel. You don't have to wear a kittel. Because I just I just started new. I already had it. Like, why do you wear a kittel? Like, I'm a, I'm a dover chadash. I'm naki. I'm, you're already a dover chadash. First marriage, second marriage, third marriage, don't make a difference. You don't wear a kittel. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't wear a kittel because I'm, 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 I just became a nayer zach. That, that kittel on Yom Kippur represents what well, we're a kittel. There's something new here. I'm, I'm starting fresh. And, and starting fresh is a whole new person. Comes to Rambam and he says, Ani Yishach. Ani Yoyso Yishachot. I don't have to even identify with that. I don't have to relate to that. It's a whole new ruach here that's, that's coming in. Kaddish in my life. Isn't the a preliminary, preliminary that we should do like the Rebbein Yonah before the Bibli? So um, it seems to be a steer in the Rambam. But I mean, it's logical that you should. But Sur it's logical because otherwise, where's this Ruach going to go? But this, that's not the question. The question is, is that the, the, the Rambam says in a different place that first you should do Bibli, and then you should do all that. He sets up something. Achas she has a chula. He is rather. Kishi yasa chula. Kishi yasa chula. Kishi yasa chula. It's unclear. But whether you do it before or after is not is not really the point because you see a person who chula for kaniyish kaniyol or lamoi b'shal achas. Get this whole new ruach in one second. Eliezer ben Durdai. You can get it in one second also. But the problem is 
it's not going to last. Let me take one more minute. I want to just tell you this Gemara. The Gemara says we went to this Gemara in Tamer Dvarah um, brings this Gemara. Gemara says that the the Ka Hashem Surah Lam in the Hashem created the world with the Yud and the Hay. Yud he created Olam Hapa. Hay he created Oisius. Hay he created Olam Hazeh. So the, so the Gemara goes on to say that Olam Hazeh Daimalach Sadra. Like the Hay. Think of a Hay. Visualize a Hay. And the Hay is like a big open space in the Lake Anach Sadra. This is where we all live. We all live in a big Hay. So, um, and it's very open on the bottom, says the Gemara. And it's very easy to fall out. To fall out easily. The sides are slippery. You could just fall out of this hay. However, says the Gemara, that there's a little crack on top. Lama, lama ragla shall hay mitla. Why is the regal of the hay hanging out like a ches, which is stuck? So this is a little place that you could get in, back in. So says the Gemara. You get back in through that little space. Frank the Gemara. Why don't why, why you have to go climbing up all the way to the top of the hay? Lail behind the kanafa. <laughs> Just go back in the same way you came. So the Gemara says, Lay Mestayim It's not going to work out for you. Lay Mestayim Milsim. Pasha of Shad the Gemara. The time Rikvara says that if, if you don't, you know, people to make a mistake, they tend to make the same mistake over and over and over again. It doesn't help to, to give, you, give them a new chance. Make the, but you have to change as yourself. What's it going to help to? You know, you see people, they marry the wrong person, they get divorced, then they marry another wrong person. Like a very, very common thing. Why? Because you didn't do the therapy in between to understand what, why, did I make, why did I make this mistake. That's the Pashat of Shadon and Gemara. So what you have to do is you have to climb all the way to the top and go in through all the time. Let's get this from a whole new angle. According to Nefesh HaChaim, you can understand it even deeper. That it's not just that I have to change myself. It's the Pashat is I'm going up to the Gag of the Hay, and I'm not going down. And I'm not trying to climb back to where I was. I want to become an Ishacher. Let's start from the top and work our way down again. Let me, let me climb all the way up to the top. A whole new derf. That's the Bali Tshuva. And the Bali Tshuva are up on top here. What are you doing there? You're still hanging in the middle of the, of the hay. And, and, and from there they come down. It's a whole new Ruach. And that's Istayim Milsa with a new Ruach. It's possible. Otherwise, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. You know, I am what I am. How many people change? I don't see too much people changing. <laughs> Change is a hard thing. But new, new is something that we all, all look at. Thank you for listening. Oh. Uh -huh.